I'd love to tell you that I'm some kind of super saint, but I'm not. <laughs> I'd love to tell you that I'm some kind of religious, righteous zealot that you know I do everything right and everything turns out always profitable and always wonderful. But I can't. <laughs> I'd love to tell you that I was so smart that I figured it out and decided to become a Christian because I didn't want to go to hell. But I didn't. <laughs> the truth is, it had very little to do with me as much as it had a lot to do with God. You know, God saved me from myself, literally, because, shoot, I didn't have it all together. I didn't know what I was doing, and frankly, I still don't, but after reading my devotional today, you know, I kind of like what he said because it reminds me just how much I really do depend on God and how much I like it because I don't have to worry about what other people worry about, you know, cleaning up their act, getting their stuff together, kind of like shuffling this over here and working on that over there. Heck, I just read my Bible, say a prayer, do my best, pray that it's blessed, and Jesus takes care of the rest. Because <laughs> it's not by works of righteousness which I've done, ha, but according to his mercy he saved me. As a matter of fact, I'm kind of still dumbfounded about that too. It amazes me. God saved me. You sure about this? I mean, I understand me not going. But I don't understand it me going. That's amazing. Maybe the same is true with you. Maybe sometimes you're just as amazed by the fact that you are saved as much as you are by your being saved. Or maybe that's confusing to you. Not to me. <laughs> I just thank God that He's doing it because it doesn't have a whole lot to do with me doing it. Because I know everybody else is doing it, doing it, but... I ain't doing it, he's doing it. So as long as he's doing it, and I ain't doing it, then I'm not the doing it, doing it kind of guy he might think I am. Although, if he wasn't doing it, then I would be one of those doing it, doing it kind of people. But you know and I know, everybody's doing it, except for those that are saved. So, I'm kind of happy about today's devotion. God is faithful. God is not a man that he should die, or he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said, and shall he not do it? Or has he spoken, and shall he not make it good? The Lord swore, and will not repent. God. I always like that. God. Yeah. God. Willing more abundantly to show unto the heirs of promise the immutability of his counsel, confirmed it by an oath. That by two, not one, but two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie, we might have a strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the hope that is set before us. Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of God commit the keeping of their souls to Him in well-doing as unto a faithful Creator. I know whom I have believed, and am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Faithful is he that called you, who also will do it. All the promises of God in him are yea, and in him amen to the glory of God by us. You know, I am glad God is doing it, because if I had to figure out all that kind of immutability and conformability and sanctability and all the other abilities that, you know, kind of people talk about, you know, when they want to get into their religibility or eligibility in this case, then I kind of look at them and I go, you know, you, you, you tell me that you're kind of like got it all together, but as someone who doesn't have it all together, I can look at your all together and see what isn't quite fitting together in what you think is all together. So, all together, I think me not being all together is better to be not quite all together 
so that he can put it all together when it's time in his way. You know what I mean? You hear what I'm saying? In other words, I'm glad that God is at work to do that which I committed to him, to perform that that I give to him. So all I got to do is keep giving it to him and he keeps doing it to me as long as I'm giving it to him. So you kind of get the picture here? You got to keep giving it to get it. So you keep giving it to him, your life, and he keeps giving to you and doing to you what he wants to do to accomplish what he promised he would do for you and in you. That sounds like a good deal to me. I think I'll stick with it. Some call it grace. <laughs>